Welcome to It's Only Electric. Today I'm sitting in the EL7, the NEO EL7. This is not about the car as such, this is about NEO's power substation and in particular NEO's power substation 3.0. This is the latest and quickest generation of the swap stations available from NEO and this is actually currently the only operational station in Europe outside China. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it operates, how quick it works compared to the older generations of swap stations. So I'm going to swap the battery currently to an 8% to a new battery, a brand new battery of 90% state of charge. Uh, and let's see how long that takes. I'm going to document this as good as possible and show you the different views of the power swap stations. So wish me luck. Let's go. Need to park into the parking space. Let's see what happens. Please press the brake pedal. I'm braking. Nicely done. Start parking. Now you can tap okay. We are parking now. So now everything is okay. Your surroundings. Do not open any door or take over the steering wheel. You can press the brake panel to control the speed. So it just started. I put the car in park into a specific uh, parking area and now it navigates all by itself. And uh, yeah, so it's completely self-driving now, backing up into the station. Adjusting. I mean, so this probably adds like one minute to or 30 seconds to, to the charging time. So I will deduct this, give you first off the total time and then uh, deduct the actual parking sequence and see how long it takes in total and also the delta. So now I'm starting the power swap, this may take some pressing time. the screen. Please wait. Power Maybe I should. Closing the window sounds a bit much better. And make noise. Yeah, so this now it's normal. shaking and making some noise. Or press the brake pedal. Turning off everything, it says like power swap may require three to five minutes. Now everything turned off. Pass time just under two minutes. Let's see. Yeah, now it's unscrewing the bolts underneath the battery pack. A lot of sounds. But interesting. So things are happening underneath the car now. Around three minutes has passed. So now it seems like it's uh, delivering the new battery pack. Fully charged, 100 kilowatt hours of battery pack coming up from underneath. Now you see the battery pack is actually going up under the car. So it seems to be a big difference between 3.0 and 2.0. The 3.0 station doesn't lift up the car. So the car just stands on the ground all the time. And the battery pack and the robot robotics underneath does its work without lifting up and lowering the car and that of course also saves some time now power is on everything is back on it looks like i'm able to drive out so that's actually under five minutes in total swap time that's impressive, really impressive time. 
So let us just contemplate, digest and talk about what just happened. I've calculated and, uh, and the total swap time was 5 minutes and 8 seconds and that's including the actual parking. So that's from when I park the car into the, the, the parking area and press the start button. And the car drives in automatically to the swap station, swaps the battery and I drive it out and then I stop the time. So that's 5 minutes and 8 seconds. And the session took 4 minutes and 31 seconds without the actual parking. Uh, so there you have the actual results. According to NEO, this swap station, the power swap station 3.0, has the capability of swap 408 batteries in one day, that's 24 hours, and can carry up to 21 battery packs. So that means that one swap will take 3 minutes and 31 seconds. But I guess that's when the car is standing in the swap station and actually swapping the battery pack. But as you see, I'm not getting really those figures. 5 minutes 8 seconds is a bit far from 3 minutes and 31 seconds. So I want to calculate the actual practical possible throughput. Uh, and of course, there will probably be some adjustments to the swap station. It will probably work a bit faster during time, during the, the trimming of the, of the operations of the process. As you probably already noticed, I've changed my shirt and the seats look different. That's because I'm sitting in another car, it's a new day. I needed to check the video and check the actual swap time and calculate some figures to, to give you some, some nice information. Because I've had long discussions on my previous videos about swapping via supercharging and I wanted to take some extra time to calculate the exact throughput and to calculate the meaning of a power swap station compared to superchargers or fast chargers in general. Given the time, 5 minutes, 8 seconds, I want to add a couple of seconds for the actual movement for each car to get into the parking area and to start swapping. So I think an average swap time of 5 minutes and 20 seconds is fair. And that gives us a total swap capacity of 270 swaps a day compared to uh, the, Mac, the theoretical maximum of 408 swaps that NEO states, so 270 swaps. And on top of that, there's three chargers outside the station. So I want to calculate this as a unit to, to see how much charging and swapping it can, can perform during one day. And then compare that to fast chargers in general. So three chargers, let's say that every charge session is 30 minutes in average. That gives us... 144 charge sessions during 24 hours plus those 270 swaps in total 414 swaps and charge sessions in one day that's the maximum capacity that we can compare to single chargers that equals to nine standalone chargers to be able to compared to a swap station and three chargers. So the swap station by itself stands for six chargers. But it isn't that easy. I mean, there is also some convenient features with swapping. It goes a lot faster. I mean, there's not a lot of cars that you can charge in five minutes from 10% to a fully charged battery. So it's a convenient aspect to this. If you just want to carry on your trip, just drive in, swap your battery, you don't need to visit the restroom, you don't need to take a break for, for eating a meal, for instance. You just want to go in, swap your battery, then it takes you five minutes. So let's move on to the second aspect, and that's the battery life. So the swap station will be able to adjust the charging speed according to the demand of swaps. That means that you can charge the battery pack a lot slower than you need to charge it on a supercharger to fill it up in 30 minutes. So that means that the lifespan of the battery pack will be longer when you swap compared to fast charge. So that's two reasonable aspects for swapping instead of fast charging. Would be fun to have a discussion about this in the comment section below. Let us talk about it. Please give me your view on swapping via charging. What do you believe in? Do you think NEO is in the right road here? Uh, does it make sense to swap the batteries? What do you think about the swap station 3.0? Let us talk about it. I want to thank the NEO team for letting me swap on the station. 
because the station was actually closed for swapping because they had a training session, international training session for their European countries uh, that NEO is involved in currently. So there was people from Holland, Germany, Norway, Sweden uh, training on the new power swap station 3.0. So thank you NEO for letting me swap anyway. It will help me to create this video. For all the viewers, I hope the video gave you some good information. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as I always say, stay electric. Thank you for watching. Speak to you soon.